What is up, everybody? We are back with another airport update. This is going to have a <clears throat> one new model and a few models that we have not seen in forever. And I mean forever. Like a long, long, long time. So, um, this is the Night Rush, I guess you can call it. There's some new cargo planes that I customized. But let's get started because it's dark outside. So, no backlit shots, finally, so. Focus. This is the first returning model. United, 737-900ER. Echo Skies. This is currently flying in from San Francisco. Waiting at the runway is an American Airlines 737-800. Flagship Liberty Colors. Um, waiting for a flight to Dallas, Texas. U.S. Airways, Ace-19. Um, yeah, this is waiting for a flight out to Reno, Nevada, get some then Cardinals colors. Um, if you watch my time-lapse videos, you'll know what this is. FedEx, ATR-72, um, this is departing from Memphis. Behind that, the Southwest, 737-700, um... There goes the light, the one that I actually needed. Um, this thing is heading to um, Tampa. Delta, um, ERJ145. Um, this one is waiting for a flight out to Appleton, Wisconsin, I think it's in. And behind that is a Finally, this thing's not sitting at a gate. Um, there's a couple of failed updates that I did where this was just sitting at its gate, but United 777-300ER, departing for Hong Kong. Oh, by the way, um, the next update will, um, <clears throat> I'm thinking about putting the, back the, May 2020 pandemic flights in and stuff, but I probably will not, just because, um, so Iceland Air 200 I don't know how much longer I will keep this plane in the updates, um, is this Gemini Jets or the Harpo? No, it's Gemini Jets, the rare one, um, I don't know how much longer I'll keep this in the updates, I probably will keep it, but I don't know, departing for Reykjavik, and it's possibly its final flight, so, I don't know. Um, come on, Hong, it's great. Um, while I, before I get to the other planes that American CRJ 200 is boarding for Portland, Maine, Southwest 737 700 Nevada 1, um, this is departing for Orlando, Coletta Air Charters. OG fans will know this. Um, this is a China Southern MD-83 that I customized into a Kalita Air Charters MD-80 pulling off the runway from um, Louisville, Kentucky. This is just where I keep the planes that are not on the update. So, yeah. Focus, focus, focus. This is going to be really shaky because I'm holding the camera now. Southwest 737-700, Arizona 1, um, I know the shot's really bad, Arizona 1, taxiing in from El Paso, Texas, Southwest 737-800, Heart 1, this is deboarding from Dallas Love Field, and the... That should be pulled off the plane now. So, American 737-800, Air Cal livery. This is just about to push back for Dallas-Fort Worth. So, yeah, so, okay. Another return. Haven't seen, go to the other side. US Airways, Ace-19-1, uh, I think it's a 2 100 Arizona 1, um, this is departing for 
New York LaGuardia, fueling for New York LaGuardia. Um, U.S. Airways A319 Nevada 1, this is deboarding and will be overnighting. It's deboarding from Seattle and will just overnight till tomorrow, of course, because, yeah. Um, right here's a Virgin Atlantic. I know you can't see it, but A359. 1,000. A350, 1,000. Um, this is going to be departing for London Heathrow a little bit, about 25 minutes. And I, I apologize for the absolutely horrible shots, but this United 757-200 in the Hurt Art here is departing for Washington Dulles or Aviation 18's airport. Um, amazing channel, amazing airport. Subscribe to him. I know I've said that in a lot of updates. I'm a huge fan of him, so, yeah. Virgin Atlantic, 747-400. Finally, I got um, the right glue to put the wheels back on this thing. Um, this is pushing back for Gatwick, London Gatwick. So, let's move really quickly back here to the Air Canada Rouge, 767-300. Um, I think these are retired. I think they just retired these, so I'm definitely going to be getting the Air Canada Rouge AC-21. But this is departing on its final flight to Toronto. No, actually, this is not its final flight. What I'm going to do, next update, which should be coming in about a day or two, this thing will be having just... I don't have fire trucks, there's going to be a piece of paper. Like, if you remember my really quick Lufthansa DC-10 send-off video, it's going to be exactly like that, and that's going to be its final flight off to, um, its final flight will be off to Montreal, but right now it's heading to Toronto. So, yeah. Second to last flight out of CJI. You're looking at one of the new models. It's behind a terminal right now, but um, Alaska 737-900ER, Boeing 100 Year Strong, departing for Seattle. Seattle. Um, these two will alternate in the next update. So, or Alaska 737-900ER, in the honoring those who serve NG by NG models. Great, amazing, buy it. Dude, oh my gosh, this is an amazing model. Amazing mold, everything. Um, so this is boarding for Los Angeles. So now Alaska, <coughs> excuse me. Alaska now serves California and Seattle. Parts of California and Seattle. So yeah. Way over there. Um, that DC-10 is also for Kalita Air Charters, Kalita Air Cargo, whatever you call it. Um, that is departing for Ontario, California, I think that's where it is. Um, AC-30 for, I believe, okay, that AC-30 is going to be wet leased. So, right now, it's with Turkish Cargo. Next update, it will be with UPS, and it will remain with UPS for a while, and then... Head back to Turkish Cargo. So right now, Turkish Cargo, A330-200. This is just loading up for Istanbul Ataturk. I believe that the cargo flights fly into Ataturk and not the... Yeah. I don't know. Correct me in the comments, but this is either heading to Ataturk or the normal Istanbul airport. So, as we get ready for the final push of planes, it is one, two, three, four, five. Five planes. And then we are done. So, Air Canada, Air Canada Express CRJ 700. Um, this is gonna be. I will say, I, I believe that this is like. Oh, let's see the wheels on the bottom of this thing. I believe this is the better mold of it, though. But, anyways, heading out to Toronto. I'm sorry for that absolutely horrible shot. It's just, it's, my, it's the best I can do. So, if you don't like it, then. That's too bad, because you're going to have to live with it. Delta 737, or Delta CRJ 900. I don't know how much, how much longer this thing will be in the airport either, because 
I don't really have a use for it, but, um, I'm, I'm sure it'll stay. I'm still thinking about it, but, um, it's departing for Atlanta. Legion MD83, definitely probably going to replace this soon, sooner or later. With AFC 19s and AFC 20s. Because if you don't know, Allegiant will be starting a hub at CJI once I get United Airlines situated. So once I get some United Airlines models, it will shift to Allegiant. So, yes. So, Allegiant MD83 departing for Sanford, Florida. My state. Huh? Delta 757-200 Sky Team overnighting in from Atlanta. Sun Country 737-800 Tide Pod livery. Um, this is loading up for Minneapolis St. Paul. Probably this is probably one of my better updates, but we'll see you all next one. So like, subscribe if you enjoyed. If you didn't enjoy, then that's your opinion. I don't care. Um, again, you have your own opinion. I don't. I don't. I'm not gonna. Be the one to say you have to like my videos, which you don't. I know I have a very unique hobby, and this is what I like to do. And if you don't like it, then you don't have to watch. So, goodbye.